we used to just ride bikes after school every single day and then came to a point one day one of the boys came out and he had like a stunt school just a cheap one and I was always like oh can I get a shot can I get a shot and it turned into more like every time we were on our bikes he'd be on the scooter and he'd never be on the scooter because I'd always be stealing it off him like I want to do this I want to try that and it just like nobody was really about it like oh, I'm gonna get made funny for doing that I'm gonna get made for that but I wasn't I've never been into anything else like no football or other sports like that was just I just that took me away man like that's that's why I'm still doing it so I've still got the love for it you know what I mean it's it's never changed Riding a scooter was just like moving around like the town, just having a bit of fun. And then it became more like, like, oh I could jump off that curb. Like, oh, I could do I could maybe do like a 180 off that curb, I could do some tricks off this. As you get older you you, you get the bigger tricks and like the reward after it's crazy. Like it's a good feeling when you get some good tricks styled. We never really had a platform other than YouTube and even at that there wasn't too many video parts getting put out. I thought I was just like, I never knew there was so many people like in the world who were riding the scooters and trying to do tricks, trying to make bigger tricks. I'd say doing this professionally now is pretty crazy. I've put a lot of work in and I've done a decent bit for the scene up here, but it's, I feel like Scotland needs more. I'd like to get my name out, man, that's, a, that's probably the main focus. My name's Connor Fettis, and always remember, have fun and follow your dreams. Thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> so much stress, and I need to do the intro. Fuck.